I'm a Christian. That doesn't mean I check my brain in at the door. It doesn't mean I don't question things. It doesn't mean I don't contemplate things. At the same time, just because I'm a Christian, it doesn't mean I'm shoving my religion down your throat. I I've got this little video I did about speaking in tongues a few years ago, and uh, my Dark Lord Lucifer has left me some comments on it. Uh, beautiful poetry. I don't know, maybe lyrics from a Slayer song or something. Oh, Dark One. Do people like this think they're really dark? Because just because I'm a Christian, I don't think I'm super spiritual or smarter than you or better than you. But sometimes, sometimes those people who are really dark come off as, you are just stupid sheeple. You couldn't have possibly come to the conclusions you've come to without not contemplating it. Uh, yeah, actually, uh, I spent my whole life contemplating every choice and decision I've ever made. And uh, there's been times I've questioned my faith, and there's been times I've walked through really dark valleys, but uh, I've always come to the same conclusion. The idea that I want to propose is, if what we believe is wrong, who cares? The amazing thing is, Something has changed, and there's been kind of a shift of balance. Christians aren't so much at the forefront of radical evangelism as much as atheists and Satanists seem to be these days. As a matter of fact, you can go to a non-confrontational Christian MySpace or, or YouTube presentation, and you'll see comments left there by very aggressive atheists and Satanists who are basically trying to evangelize Christians with the, uh, the theories and the thoughts that uh, what they believe is wrong. Do you really care? Because if you don't believe in it, what difference does it make to you? I'm interested in other religions. I'm interested in what people believe in, and I'm interested in what people really believe in. I'm not interested on a Christian's perspective on what a Satanist believes. Because a Christian cannot tell me what a Satanist believes, because they're not a Satanist, and they're gonna buy every little piece of hype that they read into. So I'm not gonna sit here and say, well, this is what Satanists believe, did you know that? Because that's just retarded. I'm not gonna sit here and tell you what every Christian believes, because Christians are all different. There are literally thousands of sects and groups, sects, S-E-C-T-S. There are literally thousands of sects and groups that, uh, that, that call themselves Christians, and they have beliefs that run the gamut from from a literal seven-day creation, to progressive evolution, to an eternal burning in hell, to not believing in hell at all, to eternal security, that once you call on Christ and ask for salvation, that's it, you're done, you're forever his, to uh, if you eat too many cookies after you've asked him to be your savior, you're going to roast in hell if you don't repent and change your ways. I mean, there are so many different groups that you can't just say, okay, here's one group, and uh, I totally isolate them, and I, you know, what's the difference between a, the kind of Satanist that goes and just basically lives for self and says, you know what, I'm not going to tie myself to some kind of religious ideology and confine myself to superstition, I'm going to lead an enjoyable life. There's a difference between that and a freak who runs around wearing black, sacrificing your neighbor's cats, scrolling stuff in blood and calling themselves by some fake creepy name. I am Isaiah. We could all get along better if instead of trying to shut down one another's differences, we would just listen to one another's differences. You know, one of the things that people have such a problem with in Christianity isn't the beliefs of Christianity. It's the actions of Christians. It's the fact that Christians seem intolerant. They seem like they're not willing to listen. They seem like they're not willing to actually come into a room and, and have an open mind and sit down and go, hey, what do you have to say? Well, this is what I have to say. Come let us reason together. Can't we be that way? I don't think everybody has to be a Christian. I don't think everybody has to believe like I believe. The only thing I'm absolutely sure of is everyone should be fat. Other than that, you can pretty much do what you want. Just be fat. If you're not fat, you're going to hell. Only fat people can get into heaven. That's right.